Eleven different airlines operate out of Terminal 1 to over 50 destinations. Iceland Air this morning are expecting a full flight to Reykjavik. To London Reykjavik, boarding through gate 40, quarter past 12. Airlines around the world work to tight schedules, ensuring their planes are in use as much as possible. These passengers don't realize that their plane's only just leaving for Heathrow from Iceland. The only male member of the Iceland Air Cabin crew today is 31-year-old Axel Goodmanson. Just gonna do it like this now. I have to be a bartender, I have to be a cook, everything what you want me to be, I can be. Would you like more coffee? It's all right. Would you like any coffee? You're okay? Just over in Zone M, Maria's morning is looking far from trouble-free. Her first flight is overbooked. Airlines regularly overbook because passengers regularly don't turn up. But today, everyone's turned up. If we need to take you off, we'll take you off. And you've got two options. Either you can go via Athens, if you wish, or we can put you in a day room, feed you, and go tonight. Maria is targeting passengers who may not mind flying later or via another route. We've checked you in anyway for now. Okay, and quarter past nine, we'll let you know if we want to take you off or not. The couple on standby have been at Heathrow for 24 hours because they missed the flight yesterday. They're hoping that Maria will be their salvation. We were booked on the flight last yesterday, yesterday morning, this flight for yesterday morning. Left um, Oxfordshire at about 10 to 7 and got fouled up in the traffic jam that resulted from the M40 crash <coughs> and didn't get here until one, half past one. So we were still here 10 o'clock praying. We couldn't, we couldn't drive home, so we got to a hotel and we're praying this morning. This is my husband's one holiday a year. It's the only holiday he takes, a workaholic. <laughs> what I need you to do, I need you to put these two on standby. Being on standby can't guarantee a place on the plane, but there could be a glimmer of hope. A business class passenger hasn't turned up yet. She's going to give the business class passenger about two or three more minutes. Um, and if he hasn't checked in in two or three more minutes, then um, <laughs> the Iceland air flight is making good progress. It's now over the Hebrides and on course for Heathrow. Would you like me to take a train? Uh, Axel has been an air steward for 10 years and takes every aspect of his job very seriously, right down to tray management. It's the worst thing when they give you three stacked together and everything you know it's like because it has to go exactly the way it went out in so if you give it just a pile of st like this you know because it's so hard then you have to start you know putting it in taking everything off this is one of the days back in terminal one Roaming troubleshooter Dave Duddy is on the lookout for any potential problems he can help solve. A group of lost-looking men have caught his eye. I'm not English, American. Right, okay. Do you have a ticket? There we go. Your flight here is for tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah? Do you have a ticket? Yeah. You have six, have got your six, six sides. There's six of you? Yeah. Right, where are your group? We'll go and find them. But right here in terminal, here? Yeah, yeah. Should we go find them? Okay. Yeah? The group seem to have come to the wrong terminal on the wrong day. But explaining this could be a problem. Can you fly to Addis Ababa? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Dave's going to have to resort to international hand gesturing. If you 
come with me, and we'll go downstairs and make a phone call. Yeah? At Silva? Okay. Yeah, me and you, yeah? We'll go downstairs. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Okay. All right. The group are now in Dave's capable hands. With Maria's flight overbooked, all the standby passengers can do is stand by. But for those already booked on who are willing to come off and fly later, Maria has managed to find the last seats available on another airline. Right, I've, um, I've taken you off. Right, right would, do you want to go by Athens or stay or go tonight? I'd like to go out things if we can. Yeah, all right, so if you come over there yeah. and I'll sort out the paperwork, give you the cash, and you can go to Terminal 4 and check in with British Airways. Oh, go to Terminal 4. Yeah. All right. It's business class with BA. Ooh. All right. <laughs> 200, 300, 50, 60, 70, five. Most airlines pay compensation to volunteers who come off their flights. This group have got £125 each. Business class seat left. Right. I don't know if you're willing one of you to go on this flight. The two passengers on standby have now been at Heathrow for more than 24 hours. Maria can only offer them one seat, but she could have something else up her sleeve. Um, I could try and speak to the captain for one jump seat to try and get you both on this flight, but I'm going to have to speak to the captain about that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So just take a seat, and I'll come and see you in a minute. Do you want me to hang on, please? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. The captain is the only person who can give permission for a jump seat at the rear of the plane to be assigned to a passenger. Maria is on a mission of mercy. Communication is not getting any easier. Dave is going to have to ask for help. Yeah. If we if we ring T3, yeah, and ask them if they've got any um, ring their control and ask them if they've got any Ethiopian speakers anywhere in the terminal, yeah, the desk, their control and whatever, it's going to be difficult, I know. On the ground, preparations have begun to receive the Iceland flight. <laughs> Aircraft dispatcher Tony McGrath is in the privileged position of being able to talk directly to the pilot. Uh, Ice Air 450, Swiss Port London, go ahead. Good morning, uh, we are descending now. And uh, the main landing is uh, 1145. Okay, let's copy 1145. Your parking bay will be Echo 40. Echo 40, thank you. See you on the ground. Okay, no stop restriction for the way back. Thank you. As an aircraft dispatcher, Tony must coordinate unloading and reloading the plane. It takes teams of service engineers, cleaners, refuelers and loaders to ensure it will be ready for its return flight to Iceland. The pressure will be on to turn it around on time. So all we need now is the aircraft. Heathrow's airspace is very busy this morning. The incoming Iceland flight will have to wait its turn to land. Although the plane's still in the air, the outgoing passengers are already heading for the gate lounge. Quick, quick. At the departure gate, Maria's flight to Cyprus has already started boarding. She has news for the standby couple about the extra seat. Got the jump seat for him. Great. Is it near the bar? It is, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's right at the back of the aircraft, oh, actually. Yes, yes, it's yes, right yes, next to fine. the pantry. That's fine. All right. After their gruelling 28-hour-long wait, Maria has managed to ensure the couple can travel together. 